beginning. Today we have a very short class and basically we're going to give an overview of the touch screens and how they work. We learned that there are three distinct systems that work together in perfect harmony to give us the touch screen system. Uh, the first is the touch sensor system, which is the system that actually detects the touch. The second is the controller system, which uh, provides the link between the hardware and software. And the third is the software driver, which is the uh, system which is responsible for actually processing the commands. Question? Yes? How does the touch sensor system actually recognize the touch? Well, um, we have three main methods of detecting the touch sensor system. And the main system are um, your system, system, capacitive system, and the surface acoustic system. Um, well, the resistive system works basically by having two layers: the lower of a conducting glass layer, the top of the plastic layer. And um, basically, when you touch the screen, you force the, both screens to touch each other, thus completing the circuit, and the touch can be detected. Um, the capacitive system, from the name, well, <laughs> you can tell that uh, they're actually acts as a capacitor from the lower layer and the upper layer. They both conduct electricity and uh, when you touch the screen, you provide the conductive path for the electrons to flow through you to the ground, thus uh, detecting where the touch is. Well, the last uh, surface acoustic system, the last method, um, it basically works by sending out ultrasonic waves and um, the ultrasonic waves oscillate back and forth between the layers and um, well, when you touch the screen, it interrupts the path and energy is absorbed, so it can detect the touch. Another question? Yes, yes. Uh, what is the difference between the three main touch sensor systems? Uh, good question. The, uh, uh, the resistive system and the surface area acoustic system can use any object to touch the screen. Well, this example of the capacitive system is a conductive path to the earth, and the capacitive and surface area are more expensive but are clearer and more durable, while the resistive is just a cheaper alternative. Another question, yes? How does the controller system link between the hardware and software? Well, the um, controller system has a uh, computer program, a PC chip that converts the input into a computer language or not. Yep. Next question. Um, what are the advantages and disadvantages of the system? Well, um, the benefits are that it's three to five times faster than a mouse. It's more intuitive, there are larger screens, and there's no need for input peripherals. The disadvantages, on the other hand, are that thumbprints appear on the screen, um, there's difficulty selecting the correct objects on the screen, and there's, of course, an ergonomic issue. Anyways, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you very much. See you. Run. Every day, every time you got to run. Too much fuss, too much stress, why is that fun? We want peace and unity, so why a gun? So many cloudy days, we need more sun. A brighter day, at the end of the way. Your head's in the way. The sun is in the sun. The benefits are that it's three to five times faster than the normal mouse. It's more intuitive and it allows a larger screen and there's no need for it.